To snow or not to snow? That is the question. That's what we're talking about. There's this big kick lately on snelling a straight shank flipping hook. Now you can see the advantage of, of it. When that weight pushes down, it pops that hook up. But I'm here asking for hard evidence proof that snelling a straight shank hook actually makes a performance difference. And I've spent a lot of time kind of looking at it and trying to understand whether or not it really makes a difference because myself, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have wondered, does it really make a difference? And I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. When I look at a straight shank hook, a really good, well-built straight shank hook, this is a VMC 4 aught heavy duty flipping hook, and you can see how the point actually comes around. It's got a wide gap for those big fish, and it actually slightly starts to point back down toward the eye of the hook. And that's what you want. That's gonna help keep those fish pegged with the barb once you hook them. But what also happens is that means that this part is the furthest point away from the shank of the hook. It's not actually the point. So when that hook goes from this position, you set the hook and it rotates up if this is the roof of a fish's mouth, it's causing that point to rotate away from the fish's mouth. Now, I don't know because I can't see inside of a fish's mouth, but just looking at it, it makes me wonder if this point of the hook, this bend, isn't hitting before the point of the hook. Now, I want that bend, so I don't want to bend it out. I want to keep this. so. Does it really give me an advantage when this weight comes down and hits that, right? Now you have, your line is pulling this way. That's really tough to hook them. So that hook is gonna come up and it, it's gonna have to catch very quickly and then it's gonna be driving and pulling down. So I'm not really convinced on the snell knot, whether it's braid or fluoro versus just a simple polymer knot tied to a straight shank hook. I've got a ton of gap, right? So if here's the roof of the fish's mouth, my hand. When you set the hook, whether it's in the roof of his mouth, whether it's sideways, down, hopefully not down, because I want to hook them in the tongue, but we'll just say roof of their mouth. I'm setting the hook at an upward angle. As I set the hook up, this weight is sliding and that hook is naturally going to drive and penetrate further into the fish's mouth. I don't know which one is better. I've tried both, I've had success and I've had failures with both. So really I'm asking you guys, if there's anybody out there that's watching this video, comment on Wired to Fish, comment on our Facebook pages, their page, my page, send us a video if anybody has hard evidence that it actually makes a difference because I'm here telling you I'm not sure that it does at this point I'm sticking with the polymer knot on a straight shank hook just by looking at the physics of when I set the hook how that's going to move inside of a fish's mouth <laughs>